In this Facebook tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create mini clips of your Facebook live streams in Facebook Creator Studio so you can easily repurpose your content. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sarah Nguyen and on this channel I make tech and social media easier for awesome entrepreneurs like yourself. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing for all of the latest product reviews, social media marketing tips and training. And at any time during the video, check out the description for all of the timestamps and links to all of the resources mentioned in this video. If you've gone live on Facebook, one of the quickest ways to get more leverage from your live stream is to create a mini clip out of it. You can now cut your live streams into mini clips right from Facebook. Let's go over to my computer now and I'll walk you through how to do this. Now to create a mini clip from your Facebook live stream, you need to go to Facebook Creator Studio and you can access that by going to business.facebook.com forward slash creator studio. And then you want to select on the left hand side content library. So select content library and go to posts and this will have all of the posts, whether they're image posts, video posts or your Facebook live streams. And you can then see on the left hand side here, there are icons. So that's a little video icon. That's a little photo icon. And you want to look for your Facebook live stream, which will look like an icon of a little video camera. So let's keep scrolling and then I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is. So it's a little video camera with an eyeball and this is the Facebook live stream that I've done not too long ago and this is 41 minutes 22 which is a little bit of a long live stream if you ask me but I guess I had a lot of important things to say. So you go to your Facebook live stream within the content library and then you want to hover over that actual live stream and then the three dots here will appear on the actual post. So select these three dots and then go to edit post and then this will open up a dialogue box and on the right hand side you want to go to video clipping and you can create as many mini clips from this live stream as you want so that the cool thing about it is you go to video clipping and then from this section here you see you can drag and drop you can drag you can't drop it um, where you want it to start so I'm going to have it start and you can just scrub through it you can also play it so you can hear what you're actually cutting so let's say See, so you can hear what the video is and I'm going to start at four here and I'm going to end the video. So I can either choose the sections by dragging these, um, the top yellow section here, or I can increase and decrease the from and two times here, but I'm going to continue dragging. So the two time, as you can see, the time is changing and I'm going to go to about 13 minutes. So I'm going to cut this into almost there. About here. Oh no, about here. Um, let's see. So you would obviously um, know where to cut it and then choose that section that you want to cut. So I'm happy to go from here to here. And then I go add clip. And then when I scroll down a little bit, you'll see your clips and then you can create a title or you can name this clip and give it a different title. So I'm going to name it um, video ideas and save it. And then if I wanted to cut another section, I would just move this to the next section that I wanted to trim. So let's just say I wanted to go from this section uh, what was there editing workflow to about this section here um, I can go add clip again and then there's another one here so I can name this one to be a proper title so I'm going to go video 2 and select save now we're almost done but we want to click save and this is once we're happy with all the clip clips that we're creating so we're going to go to save and then we need to give it a couple of minutes and then Facebook will add it to your content library. 
So I've just refreshed the page and now I can see these two clips that I just created. So from that 40 minute Facebook live stream, I've got a 10 minute clip, see it's 10.03 here and another one that's 8.24 here. And if I hover over it to make the three dots appear, I can click on it and go to edit post. And this then allows me to change the thumbnail. So I can go ahead, I can add some more text to the description, I can click on thumbnail and I can either auto generate one, I can add my own custom image or I can choose from a still. So I'm, I like that one, I'm going to choose from a still of the video and then I can do other things. I can also add subtitles and captions, which is a great way of making it more accessible. And a lot of people do watch videos in silence and they just read it and watch it as opposed to listen to it. And once I'm happy with the changes, then I can go select save. And this will then make the change. You see it's changed the thumbnail image there and I can go and change the thumbnail image and the description for the other video. So that's essentially how you create a mini clip from your bigger Facebook live stream so you can continue to repurpose your content. There you have it, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to create mini clips of your Facebook live streams. Pretty easy now that you know, right? If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to grow your business using Facebook, make sure you grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple guide to get you up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. To get your hands on it, simply click on the link in the description box below and thanks for watching.